Hello guys, what is up? This is Castle Perfect bringing you another Call of Duty Black Ops video and no, it's not another one. Yes, actually it's another one. But um, I've been counting the comments, you know, my previous video that I asked you guys what would you like to see, mixed up videos or only Pokemon? And the majority of you guys have chosen for uh, mixed up. So um, this is it, I'm gonna be posting Call of Duty Black Ops gameplay as well on this channel. Uh, stay tuned for that. Also for the guys that did not really want to see me posting this kind of videos on my, on my channel. Uh, please bear with me and click the video away if you don't like it because actually I don't have I don't have any any other option that could actually help you guys by uh, you know entertaining you guys with these kind of videos if you don't like it you don't like it right that's just how uh, everybody works so if you don't like it just click it away uh, please um, that's that's pretty much all I can say and uh, all I can help you with but um, so far for the people that enjoy Call of Duty Black Ops and enjoy my commentaries in general um, today I'm bringing you a wager match on Call of Duty Black Ops, High Roller, um, I got 30,000 COD points on the line and uh, if you don't know what it is and you're new to this video and you're actually enjoying it right now let me tell you what it does, well actually in this game you have multiplayer, single player and also on the multiplayer side you have wager match now every time you play a normal multiplayer game you earn COD points COD points is just uh, the money inside the game, money that you can use to buy weapons, attachments, camos and all that sort of stuff now it, it is pretty much the same as Pokemon, you know, you be you will be beating uh, trainers and they will be giving you money so you can buy items and stuff like that. So the same the same, the same system has uh, been, uh, been done in this game. So you earn card points by winning games, playing objects and stuff like that but on the multiplayer platform. So what you do right here is, uh, you. this is a wager match, this is an optional game mode in which you can put your card points on the line. Um, and um, lose or win, it, it is one of those two. Um, you have 30,000 cut points on the line if you do high roller. If you do, if you do weekend gambler, it's only 1,000 cut points. And if you do ante up or something like that, I don't remember how it's called. Um, you will be putting 100. And, uh, and that game mode is more because to get you, uh, you know, working and get you known about how this works before you do high roller or anything like that. All right, so high roller is for the most uh, more professional guys that absolutely have confidence in themselves that they can pretty much win those um, thirty thousand cut points because you know you you have these uh, three places in which you can earn money. You are playing with six people, I believe, six people or seven people. I don't know. I think six people. Every everybody puts uh, ten thousand cut points on the line. First place gets thirty thousand. Second place, I think, gets twenty thousand, and uh, third place gets. I think 15,000. I don't remember quite well how it went, but um, in any case, if you if you end up being third place, second place, or first place, you will always earn your money. If you end up being first place, fifth place, or sixth, th sixth place, um, you will absolutely earn anything, and you will be lost. You will lose all your cut, cut points, and that's a bummer. Absolutely, that's a bummer. Nobody loves to lose their cut points after they have worked so hard just winning matches online and then uh, lose them all at once in this uh, game mode. I have lost a lot of cut points, but I also have won a lot of cut points. So um, it's nothing to blame uh, on the game. It's more because of your gameplay, and also it has to do a lot with the connection. So if you are, if you have a pretty good connection, the game is most likely gonna pick you up. Uh, as the host, and you will be, you you will have uh, the biggest advantage over everybody else on the lobby. So that's a good one. Um, most of the times I, I am playing with uh, Americans, and uh, as you guys know, I live in the Europe, and my connection gets pretty much fucked up. And uh, when that happens, I'm pretty much fucked. So um, <laughs> yeah, that's what that, that those are the times that. I lose all my code points, but besides that, I think this is a lot of fun game mode. Of course, you have these bitchy guys that all they do is just switch to their ballistic knife, which is your secondary weapon in this game mode. Um, it is, uh, you know, this the, the ballistic knife only does uh, shoot a ballistic uh, knife, and uh, you can kill people from a longer distance. But you can also knife or melee attack your enemies really fast, like this guy is trying to do, you know. And uh, most of the people, well, yeah, most of them because they're all just bitch. Um, they all just go around knifing you instead of using the crossbow, which is your primary weapon, which you should be using all the time. But um, uh, most of the people are just like, fuck you, I'm just gonna knife you and that's that's it. But of course, uh, knifing gets you less points than just killing someone with a crossbow or sticking them, you get 100 plus. Knifing someone will get you only uh, 25 plus. And uh, it will take a lot a lot of time if you're if you're trying to rack up points by only knifing because there is always the possibility that you get tomahawked and lose all your cut points. Did I actually mention how the tomahawk works? I don't know. 
But um, if you don't know how it works, actually, um, in this game mode, you can tomahawk people, like I did, throwing throwing tomahawks to your enemy that will get them bankrupt, and they will lose all their points that they have wrecked up so far. So they will be pretty much in last place. So that's how it works. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this commentary. I hope you guys this uh, enjoyed this game. Um, I will definitely be posting more of this. Of course, Pokemon has priority over this, so I will be posting more Pokemon videos uh, than this. Um, well, I think three videos a week from for Call of Duty and uh, the everyday Pokemon. So, what do you think? What do you guys think about that? Let me know. Leave a comment down there. It will be awesome if I read those comments. You know, you guys telling me what you guys would like to hear more or to see more and stuff like that. All right, guys, this is pretty much it. The video is uh, over. Make sure to uh, leave a thumbs up because that's what I enjoy, man. Then I can see that I really did a good job on this video. Um, if you guys could please leave a comment down there if you enjoy this Call of Duty game, please. And uh, that's pretty much it. I think uh, I don't have anything else to say. And I'll check you guys later on my next video. Check you later.